name is Marilyn Sorochin, and I'm from Newmarket, Ontario. My career was in education. I began as a teacher, and at the end of my career, I was an elementary school principal. And when I left the classroom doing education and professional development for teachers as well, I was diagnosed with asthma when I was eight, and there was significant asthma among my relatives. And so it did give me uh, a lot of difficulty. Only in the last few years have I really got on a treatment that's good. Because certainly during my professional life, I was still always managing it, always needing my rescue puffers close by, always aware if you know I was getting near animals or other things that I was allergic to. And then a few years ago, my lungs were deteriorating, so it became evident that I did have COPD at that time. The last flare-up I had was in 2017, and I was in hospital for 10 days. And uh, it was very severe, and um, it certainly took me a long time to recover. It, it really set me back uh, a lot. One of the things is when you're in the middle of a, an episode like that, you think you're never going to be well again. However, I did. I managed to get, get past it. But I think the little alarm bell is to really not let that happen again. And so to intervene more proactively when I feel that the asthma is getting worse. The one ask I would have that I feel so strongly about is the availability of rehab programs. I mentioned that I took part in a rehab program here in Newmarket about 10 years ago. And it was terrific. I learned so much because I'd not been in that kind of environment before to learn about COPD. Unfortunately, it was cut uh, shortly after that uh, because of funding issues, I suppose. And it's not come back. I went to the Queen's Park Day a number of years ago and it was just so interesting uh, because we met uh, leaders from all three parties, the Minister of Health, and it was a chance for them to talk to us and find out, you know, what, what we were about. And I thought that was uh, very cool. <laughs>